Good morning, everyone. Today is a beautiful spring day. Sun is out. Finally, we have a nice warm day. And I can't wait to go outside and show you a part of our garden which we changed a lot during the last two years. And I think the results are just marvelous. I think that uh, it's a big improvement for our garden and I can't wait to boast about it. So come and follow me and let's see what's going on there. So the area where we are going, we are heading, is our backyard. It's uh, an area where we had a huge shed. And that huge shed was doing absolutely nothing. Oh, it's beautiful outside today. We definitely knew that we wanted some sort of patio here and we decided to go with very natural looking stones. At first we didn't know where to find these stones and finally we realized that so many people go to the town dump and bring all the stone left over from their projects and this is exactly where we went with my husband and we found all sorts of beautiful stones and one was particularly interesting. I think it has a uh, um, history to it, although we would never know the history to it. This one. It's a beautiful big round stone, very well polished and shaped. I'm sure it has uh, many years to its life and who knows where it have been, has been, but now it's here in my garden. Hopefully it will serve us for a long time beautiful stone. I put it right in the center where we usually sit. All the stones were brought by us in the car here and oh boy what a job it was. Honestly I didn't think that it will be so difficult. Let me go around here and I will show you from a different side. There is a lot of stone here. We had to travel several times around just several times back and forth just to bring all these stones in our minivan and uh, fun project i must say i did it myself majority of it and the way we did it we just uh, put uh, uh, the soil out for each stone and placed stones on um, uh, the soil we didn't do any gravel or any other level of foundation under the stones just take the soil out and put the stone in and honestly I was hesitant how the stones will behave through the winter but look the whole two winters stone survived just fine and they look very natural and very beautiful I think plus kids helped me too before we installed our stones we did the installation of uh, raised beds. I think they are a little bit wide. It takes a real stretch to stretch to the middle of, it, of uh, the flower bed. But uh, I think that we will be doing fine. It's good to stretch, I think. And in front of those flower, uh, vegetable beds, I wanted to put um, hedges of boxwoods. But I realized that I needed to do my research on different types of boxwoods. There are many of them and some of them are not hardy at all and some of them are not very disease resistant, uh, prone to bronzing. So I said, okay, research is needed. And this is what I came up with. These two varieties of boxwoods are boxwoods which were introduced by um, Sheridan Nursery in Canada. They came up with very hardy, very disease resistant boxwoods. The small ones right here in the row. Uh, the name is Green Gem. These are dwarf boxwoods. Very cute looking. They're in the ground for two years already. I bought them probably as one year old little things. They're doing very well. Oh, that's probably the ball from my kids doing damage. Oh well. A little bit of bronzing on them, but not much. They live through the winter very well. As you can see, their leaves are narrow. Beautiful boxwood type. Um, yeah, very look good. Very good looking little guys. Hopefully this year they would be able to merge and start forming a low, sh a low hedge. They are dwarf varieties and they reach up to one and a half Two and a half feet high. I probably will keep them around two feet high. 
Next to them, this big boy is called Green Mountain. Green Mountain is another variety introduced by Sheridan Nursery and it, is a, it has more of a columnar shape. It grows to four or five feet tall and four feet wide. I wouldn't let this boxwood to go so wide. I want to keep it narrow and tall this way. Look, both of them, when they grow high, I will have a nice entrance into this area and this area will form a separate room in the garden. Will look very lovely, I think. Now, when the shed is gone, I really love this part of my garden where I can come outside, especially in the morning with a fresh cup of coffee and look at birds, listen to the day beginning, looking at, look at the quiet life of my plants and love it. So thank you for coming with me on the tour of this section of my garden. Happy gardening and see you next time.